Boise State always strives for excellence, and we seek leaders who drive forward our traditions of innovation, our blue-collar work ethic, and excellence. Boise State University is incredibly unique. Not only has it risen from a community college to a national research university with sheer grit and innovation, the character we are known for on our famous blue field is the character across our academic enterprise and our service to our community. The creativity and excellence of our athletic department mirrors that in our university overall. As you know so well, when we face challenges, we don't shy away. Many universities shut their doors because of COVID, we open safely. A lot of universities saw their research efforts decline this year. We set a research record. We aimed to find the top candidates from across the country for our head football coach, just as we did in our search for our AD. And we engaged with an amazing pool of candidates. We made a plan from the outset to hire our AD first, we didn't even begin our head football coach search until we had Jeremiah Dickey on board to bring his expertise in this national search. National searches bring in amazing people, so it's never an easy decision. But what I can say with absolute conviction is that I and we are elated with the outcome of both searches. Jeremiah Dickey did an amazing job in his first major effort as RAD this whole process has made me even more excited about the future, and I'm delighted and proud to turn the floor over to Jeremiah Dickey. Good afternoon. This is, uh, this is an exciting day for Bronco Nation. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank a few people. Uh, some of them are here, and, and hopefully uh, many are listening. Uh, it is difficult to name everyone who has assisted us with this process. Uh, it very much takes a team. First and foremost, our committee. I want to thank Dr. Trump, Alicia, Bob, Mike, and Collegiate Sports Associates. They very much played a role in this process. It truly takes a team, especially when time is of the essence. I'm extremely grateful for them this week. I want to personally thank Bob as well. Bob was tremendous. Uh, I, I very much leaned on him throughout this process. Uh, his knowledge, his experience, uh, and especially uh, all things Bronco Nation as I was getting uh, onboarded at the same time. So I thank Bob. Dr. Trump deserves a tremendous amount of credit uh, through this process and, and transition. I'm grateful she trusted me through this process. Uh, be thankful, Bronco Nation. Uh, we are excited to go arm in arm as we move forward, and I'm so grateful to be her teammate in this. I would also like to thank my wife, Elizabeth. Uh, we, we flew to, uh, uh, to Boise last week at this time, and uh, I arrived. I dropped her off at the house, and uh, I did not see her for a week. So uh, I very much uh, am grateful for her and, 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 and our three children. Um, I, I couldn't do it without her, and, and I'm glad she was here to be a part of this process. I also want to t uh, thank Coach Spencer Danielson. I got to speak to Spencer a couple of times through this process. Uh, everything I heard about him was true. He very much cares about our student athletes and he cares about this program. And I appreciate his leadership uh, uh, throughout this transition. Transitions are hard and he made it that much easier. And when I talked to the student athletes, you could tell they very much cared about him and him of them. I want to thank all those who came before us who laid this foundation of success in athletics. Specific to football, we have an amazing line of head coaches, which we spoke about last week. I want to thank Coach Harson and wish him well in his new endeavors. Thank you to our team. Uh, there's so many behind the scenes that have made today possible. Joe, Lauren, Taryn, Sherry, Melissa, uh, Joel. Joel in our football program. Uh, he, has, he has been unbelievable through this transition and, and been a lifeline for me as we've navigated uh, quite a bit this past week. Thank you to Christina for making sure our student athletes and, and our sport programs uh, had elite level leadership this week while Bob and I were out. Uh, the work doesn't stop, and so I'm grateful for her and, and her uh, efforts. And finally, thank you to our football student athletes. 
Uh, transition, as I said, is not easy. It is extremely difficult, and they have been consistent. They have upheld what is important to us. Uh, they have represented themselves and us off the field at extremely high level, and I'm grateful for that. I look forward to meeting them in person uh, soon. So what were we looking for in a head coach? We talked about mission fit. You know, do his core values align with who we are? We talked about him being a good partner and a teammate. That's extremely important to me, and you heard that last week. Does he bleed blue? What does that mean to us? Work ethic is important. We are a blue-collar program, and that's not going to stop. Was he a leader of young men? Was he developing them on and off the field? Is he going to hold people accountable to his vision and to our expectations? Was he a man of integrity and character? We needed someone who was endearing and genuine and authentic that was going to represent us. Would he bring toughness? And those that know him know he will. Recruiting obviously is important. Making tough decisions. And yes, could he lead us to championships? And absolutely. The process. The process was important to me as a new AD. We talked a lot about the process last week. Our student-athletes are a priority, and they deserved my due diligence in this process. I thank Dr. Trump and her waiting for my hire because I think it's extremely important for myself and this head coach moving forward. We are a national brand. We did a national search. Our goal was to identify someone as quickly as possible, but we were not going to make a decision until we did our due diligence. I spoke to many, many people this week, and I'm very grateful for them and their time. Being from the, the Boise family and, and the coaching tree, that was important to us, but it wasn't required. Our goal was to find the best person, the best fit, the best man, and the best head coach for Bronco Nation and our student athletes, and I feel we did that. What does Andy embody? We talk about fit and mission. You're not going to find someone that fits our mission better. We talk about bleeding blue. He was part of defining that for us as a player and as a coach. He exudes the blue-collar mentality of this program, so much so that the outpouring from fans, former student-athletes, alums, was tremendous. And it really cemented what I already felt was the best decision and the right decision. But now I feel it's the perfect decision. Everyone who I spoke to about Andy talked about his ability to lead young men. Not just his coaching, but to lead young men. And in this day and age, that may be the most important thing that he does. He has a defined vision. He knows where we're going. And yes, we are going to win championships. Accountability is something we spoke about at length and, and, and someone who could define expectations and hearing him talk, I, we got that and, and that was important for me to hear and extremely, uh, extremely excited uh, for, for his process and how he plans on going about this. You heard me say it last week, everything will count and everything absolutely matters. Andy is a man of integrity. I have faith in that. We talked a lot about family and, the, and, and how you treat people and, and how important those people are around him. And that was, that was important for me. Just like he played, we will be blue collar. I have no doubt in my mind. You felt it. You felt his energy and you felt his work ethic and how he talked about him and I moving forward arm in arm and how we're going to go out and accomplish great things, and that meant a lot to me. He is a family man, and a lot of you know Summer and his uh, daughter Paige and Peyton. They're beautiful, and you could feel it from him. He cared very much how I talked about my family last week. I could feel it when he spoke about them. We could have talked for hours just about our family, and that may mean more to me than anything. And... And maybe most important, based on all the calls I got this week, he is part of this family. 
when you think about who he played for or worked under in Coach Cutter, Coach Hawk, Coach Pete, Coach Harson. Uh, he fits this school and he fits with what we are about to accomplish. When we spoke to our football student athletes yesterday, it was amazing and having gone through this process a number of times, I felt their energy, I felt their excitement. Uh, usually it's in person, you know, uh, we're thankful for Zoom and, and, and allowing us to get in front of them in a very short amount of time and you could feel it. And I know they've already been reaching out to coach and, and that may have been one of the most important things as we've transitioned him in very quickly uh, to see their excitement. Uh, that's my why, that will be our why. Their experience matters and we pick the right person for the job. So what's next? This isn't a guy that wants to rest on the successes of the past. You heard me talk about it last week. We are not putting this program into cruise control. We want to usher in a new era of Bronco football. Build on what he helped create, but also what the coaches and student athletes that came before him established. Without further ado, I would like to introduce you, Bronco Nation, and welcome back your 11th head football coach in history and only a second graduate from this great institution, Andy Avalos, his wife Summer, and daughters Paige and Peyton. Welcome, Coach. Good afternoon. It is with great honor that we stand before you today. It's a humbling, humbling opportunity to be able to come back home. To this university, to the brotherhood, that we belong to and to this community. We are excited to represent you guys with class and integrity. We also intend to uphold the tradition of success established by Coach Lyle Smith and all the great coaches who followed him like Dirk Cutter, Dan Hawkins, Chris Peterson, Brian Harson, and coaches in other sports like Greg Patton, Beck Rogar, Leon Rice, Gordy Presnell, all the great things that they do for this university and for the uh, young men and women of this university, we intend to uphold. We are energized and inspired by the new leadership at Boise State. Dr. Trump, thank you for your passion and vision and determination to shape Boise State's destiny. Thank you. 